Hey guys, have you ever played the death games? Or ain't you the addicted of these violent games? So what do you feel when you play any deadly or violent game? Yes, today's story is about a group of boys who were addicted of death games and wish their lives to be like these games. Sooner they encounter a adventure of real life death games after their teacher's head explodes. As the movie starts, we see a boy named Shun. He was very bored with his life, he just used to go to school and returns back home routine-wise, there was nothing in his life to enjoy, and he was very fed up with his tedious life, he often used to play video games at home the whole day after school, this was the only source of pleasure for him but gradually he was getting fed up with this too, getting fed up with the situation he prays to God, and says, oh God, how dull the life is, I wish that my life is like a video game, I could amuse with my life like a video game, and the next day, when Shun is in his class, his teacher's head bursts, and a Daruma doll comes out of it, it is a very dangerous Daruma doll and that doll was killing every student in the class mercilessly, who were moving from their positions. Seeing this, Shun thinks that God has fulfilled his wish, but he doesn't want this disaster, and gets upset, because many students in his class were killed brutally. The Daruma doll takes a round while singing a short song, and after the round was over, the student who moves from his place, his blood veins burst horribly, and he gets die in a very painful way. Obviously, the Daruma doll was doing this all, and in the entire class, nothing was visible except blood, and seeing this, all the students in the class gets panic, and start screaming, and the Daruma doll starts killing them one by one. Then Shun's friend shouts, it's a game of death, which they has to win and no need to be afraid. And saying this, he shows the fixed button at the backside of the Daruma doll, thinking that they maybe can escape by pressing the button. Hearing this, a student moves forward to press that button. The Daruma doll looks at him angrily. Consequently, he is dead with the explosion of his head. And then Shun tells that there is also a timer with the button. And we has only one minute left. And if they doesn't do anything within this time, then all of them will die. Hearing this, all students are panicked again and in a state of panic, they move from their position. Taking advantage of the opportunity, the Daruma doll starts killing them again one by one. And he kills them in a very brutal way. And now only two people are left, Shun and his same friend, because they both did not move from their position. Shun's friend tells him that we have only 30 seconds left. Do it. Press the button while jumping and putting your feet on me, by which we can escape. But Shun was not getting the courage. But still, looking at the time, he dares to press the button, and throws it down. By dropping the doll, they both get very excited, that they have won their game. But the Daruma doll ends Shun's friend. And he tells Shun I will kill all except you. Because you have pressed the button but Shun is not happy with this. Because his class fellows were killed to the death with no reason. And then Shun encounters his friend Ichika there. Through which he gets to know that this game was going on in throughout the school. And Ichika is also a winner of her class like Shun. Because she also pressed the button of that doll. Shun asks her that why all this happening to them? He suggests to call the police. But the problem is that there were no signals there. Then they try to run away from there. But all the doors were locked. Then they somehow reach the playing area of the school. There were more students. And the mostly were wearing a mouse costume. Then they notice that it is written on the floor, the cat's bell, and then the ground starts to thrill, and a very big cat appears in front of them, it was a robot cat, which eats everyone slowly, and all the students run here and there to save themselves, and during this time Shun finds a bell there, and he sees that there is a hoop on the cat, and maybe they can survive by throwing the ball into the ring and then the best basketball player among them starts to basket that bell, those people are about to win this game, then the cat stops the bell from being basket, and throws that bell with that boy with his own hands, by which he dies, seeing this, all the children are very scared, that now they will not win this game. Ichika falls and the cat starts eating it, and at the right time, Shun distracts the cat coming there, because Shun was wearing a mouse costume, and the cat was holding the mouse costume students more, then Shun finds out that the cat is entrapping the mouse costume students, the cat tells them that there is itching on his back, and he scratches his back, which he will like, and cat will not harm them, and then the cat falls asleep, Shun says that now it's the opportunity, and I will win this game by basketing that bell, but the rest were afraid that only the basket player will survive like Daruma doll, and the rest will be killed, because of which dispute is broken out among them, and in the meantime, the cat's is awakened, and she attacks them all again, but Shun and Ichika throw two balls at the cat to confuse the cat, one of them is a bell, and the other is a simple basketball, so that the cat could not stop the bell, and they win, and they are very close to winning this game, but Shun missed his target, and could not basket the bell, but now they had only two seconds left, and then the most strongest boy of the school comes there, and without caring for his life, he baskets that bell, with which they win that round, and that boy's name is Amaya, seeing this, Ichika is happy, but Shun tells her that we are still unaware that who is the survivor of this game. Then the cat says that the three of you, Shun, Ichika and Amaya are the survivors of the game, and the rest are killed. Amaya tells Shun that God is behind such games, and only people are the winners, and that power exists between the two of us. Then Ichika tells him that Shun is not like you at all, he is smarter and more powerful than you, and the heart is better than you. Hearing this, Amaya gets angry, and then the cat blows smoke out of its mouth, and they all faint. Then we are shown the worst state of the whole country, which is very bad. People are very upset. Because of the situation, what was going on? Then we are shown that all the winners are being taken somewhere in a flying cube. Many people try to go inside it, but fail. Then a tramp is shown, and he touches a inoperative radio, which starts working right immediately. And looking at him here, it seemed that he was also connected to this game somewhere. Waking up in the cube, then there is a girl in front of him whose name is Takumi, and she was his childhood friend. There were other survivors of the school besides the two of them, and there a boy is much more brilliant. Then it is written on the screen in front of them. Find the keys, then you will be able to go out of here, and then four wooden dolls come there. 
They tell them that only those who can go out of here will win this game. And they tell them the rules of the game. You have to sit in one place blindfolded. And we will sing four songs and go around you. And as soon as the song is over. You have to tell the name of the doll behind you. And if you tell the name wrong you will die. First of all, she chooses that brilliant boy. But he takes the name of the wrong doll. And she kills him. Then it's the turn of a girl. And in time, she also can't tell the name of the right doll. And doll kills her too. And now there was only Shun and Takumi left. And the dolls now choose Shun. And she sits in the middle of Shun. And she starts roaming around him. And when the song is over, she is asked the name of the doll. Shun doesn't utter a word. And the voice comes. Time is up. Now the doll behind says. Get ready to die. Because you didn't answer in time. And when Shun hears the voice of that doll, he immediately name her. On which they all start laughing. That there is no point in telling him now. Because the time is up. Then Shun tells them. That the sound of the time being up. Was coming from his cell phone. That is, when the game was played with two people. Then he recorded his voice. So here he is fooling them. And he says that he still has time. And by telling the name of the right doll. He defeats them. And as soon as he wins the game. All four dolls get blasted. And taking the key. Shun and Takumi come out. Outside they meet another boy. Who was coming towards them. And behind him. A strange, very scary, giant doll was following him. And that boy tells them. That everyone hold each other's hand. By which that doll will not be able to harm them. And in the meantime. Ichika also comes there. They go to another room. Where they meet two more boys. Those boys tell Shun. That to open this gate. They need a total of seven keys. But they only have only four. And in the meantime. Amaya also reaches there with three more keys. And while escaping from that doll. He came there holding the hand of another boy. And as soon as he comes in. He kills him. They put all the keys. Then a voice comes. Change your dresses. And as soon as he changes his clothes. They step in another game. On the other side. We are shown the state of the whole city. And here we know. That whatever was happening in that cube. It was going live in the whole city. That is. The whole city was watching the games in that cube live. Then the seven survivors go to go into a frozen room. Where there is a lot of ice. And then a giant bear comes in front of them. He tells them. That to win this game. They will have to answer some questions. And whoever gives the wrong answer to the question. He will be killed. The first question is asked to them. What is their favorite food? On which everyone tells their favorite food. And that bear says. That no. One of you is lying. And after a lot of thinking. They find out. That the boy is the one. Who was chased by the scary. Giant doll. But that boy. Does not accept this. Rather he says. He told the truth. But that bear slays him. Then the second question is asked. Who among you likes Shun? Then among them. Ichika, Amaya and Takumi say yes. Because they knew Shun. But those two boys. Who had come from some other school. They say no. Because they did not know Shun. And that bear says again. That one of you is lying. Then Shun says to that bear. That these two questions are so easy. Then how can anyone. Give them the incorrect answer. Then that bear says to him. That one of you is our partner. And he is lying to defeat you all. And you find him. Before you all die. And then their doubt comes to Takumi. Because he was not from Shun school. Then Shun tells them. That she is his childhood friend. But those people don't believe him. And the time was running out. So he takes Takumi's name. But Takumi clarify again and again. Repeatedly tells Shun. That I did not lie. I like you very much. But no one listens to him. And Bear kills her in a very brutal way. Then they all see. That Takumi's dead body is flowing out real blood. Being the partner of Bear. She might be a robot. Not a human being. But a robot. Seeing this. Shun immediately understands. Who is lying. He says. That there is a person here. Who is lying. He points out the Bear. And says. That you are the fake person. And telling a lie. Creating a clash between us. So that we kill each other. In fact you are a liar. People have been killed in this game. And he is very sad to lose his friend. The all those five survivors step into last round of the game. Their dolls arrive and appreciates them. And says. That well done. You reached at this level. It tells. This game will be played among them and no one else will be there. But this is their own game. And tells them the rules of the game. One of the five will be a devil. And the other four will go somewhere and hide. And if the devil finds all four and kicks this tin. Then he will become the winner of this game. And only he will survive. And the other four will die. And if a person kicks the tin who will not caught by the devil, before the demon and the rest of the four will survive, but he will die. Here he has to sacrifice his life for the sake of others. When the demon is chosen, now a devil is selected Amaya using the sticks? Doll start that game. And Amaya puts that tin in its position and goes to find those four. And those four people hide among them. Amaya easily catches two people. And after beating them a lot, locks them in jail. And Ichika and Shun hide in one place. But the other four. But Amaya arrives there too. Then Ichika appears before him to save Shun. She comes in front of her. And Amaya catches her too. Amaya says to Shun, that I don't need to find you, because I have caught three people, and it would be good, that you don't come out, but stay hidden. But Shun was very confused, and he is compelled to think, that either he should save the life of others while kicking the can and sacrificing his own life for others, or saving himself he may leave others to die, and let the rest die. Then Ichika says, that Shun, I know, you are a very kind-hearted, but you don't need to be worried about us. And she requests him, that you please don't come out. But despite this, he doesn't listen to her, wears a heavy armor, and comes out. Then Amaya says to him, that have you come out to defeat me with this armor? I just removed your helmet to defeat you. And it's time to take your name. And I will become the winner. And you will lose the game. And Amaya does the same. He easily removes Shun's helmet. Then Shun tells him. That the reason for coming with the armor. Is to save Amaya. But the purpose. Is not to defeat Amaya. But to stop him. And he along with that armor. Jumps into water. Shun's chain was tied to Amaya. So he is also dragged with him. But Shun very smartly. Comes out of the armor. But he. Is wounded badly. 
Amaya which was tied to the chain, succeeds in breaking that chain, and runs. And on the other side, Shun runs too, so that he can kick that can. But Shun succeeds in kicking that chain, and he wins the game. But with this, they were all very upset, because now, Shun has to die. But that chain doesn't blast. And Shun's life is saved. Then those dolls come and tell they have told a lie about the explosion of the can they lied all about. They just wanted to judge that open-hearted person. Whose heart is true? Who thinks about others? Is not a selfish. And all of them are the winners of this game. It is also seen. That there is a celebration in the entire city. And those dolls offer them ice cream as part of the festivities. The doll tell them that in the joy of winning, they can all live a normal life after the celebration. And in whatever happened to them. It was just a game. Everyone was very happy. Eating ice cream they noticed, a statement written on the ice cream sticks, who is the winner or loser. And then they find out. That Shun and Amaya are the winners of the game. Then the dolls tell them, only the people survive, who have the power, along with the good luck. And, Shun and Amaya possessed it. And remaining three are killed including Ichika. 2D. They in which. Named the last game, as Game of Luck, which only they both have won. On this, Amaya is much excited, but Shun is sad. Then they are brought out of the cube, and people were calling them heroes. Because, out of so many children, they were the only winners. Shun was very angry, and he is not happy with all this. And he says, that God does not exist. Because God he snatches everything from him. He took his friends. His school children died. And those dolls tell him, no, you are wrong in this statement. God exists. And here, is a great secret, that the same homeless person, who repaired the inoperative radio. Actually, all this was done by him. And Shun staring at him furiously. The movie ends here. <laughs>